people everywhere. The time has come for the greatest gospel magazine on radio. Get ready for the experience you won't soon forget. We are bringing the good news to you from southwest Louisiana to the world. Get ready for Gospel in the City on the radio. And now, please give a warm welcome to our host, W. Mike Robinson. Welcome to Gospel in the City, the greatest gospel magazine on the radio. Listen, we're so excited that you've tuned into another power packed broadcast. And today we've got an exclusive with Ms. Deidre Carter, who's going to talk about Medicare. Listen, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Gospel in the City. A business is only as effective as its option. E320 Enterprises is your working capital and business loan funding source. If your business needs capital for expenses, increasing inventory, acquiring new employees, adventuring, renovating, remodeling, or consolidating debt, let E320 Enterprises and its affiliates help take you and your dreams to the next level. For more information, contact WMI Enterprises at 337-802-2885. Get your business moving in the right direction today. E320 Enterprises. Valair Management Services has been established to assist, lead, invest, mentor, and partner with your kingdom assignments along with supporting selected visionaries. For more information, contact VM Services at area code 832-572-2591. We are Valair Management Services. Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center, 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles, would like to invite you to come out and experience the presence of God through worship. Our mission at Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center is to equip, edify, and empower the believer through the effective teaching and preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be sure to join Pastor Mike and First Lady Gigi Robbins every Sunday morning for 11 a.m. worship service at 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles. Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center. Center. Welcome back to Gospel in the City, the greatest gospel magazine on the radio. Listen, I am so excited to have my dear friend with me, Miss Deidre Carter. We're going to be talking about some wonderful things. So we've got a long way to go. We've got a lot to talk about. But first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I thank God I'm born and raised here in the city in Lake Charles. Um, I'm a mother. I'm a wife. Um, graduated from high school here, went to McNeese, went to Suwella. Okay. My mother used to tell me, girl, you better get something <laughs> and just plug it in. And okay. so here I am in insurance. Well, she sure gave you some good information and some good advice because you are now working with Medicare. And tell me a little bit about how long you work with the Medicare industry or the insurance industry itself. Well, actually, um, this is my 19th year. And if someone would have told me when I was coming out of school that I was going to be in insurance, I'd have told them, nope, you have the wrong person. <laughs> but this is my 19th year, I thank okay. God. Um, but I'm only four years old in the Medicare industry. Okay. So what is Medicare? Medicare is actually the largest health insurance program offered by the United States. And it serves almost 55 million people. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So w when, when did it begin? Well, Medicare actually began around 1965, and it was entered into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So as we move further in this conversation, tell me a little bit about um, who does Medicare cover? Well, Medicare covers U.S. citizens um, and legal residents who are 65 years and older, okay. uh, those who qualify due to a disability, and those um, of any age with end-stage renal disease. Medicare is covered into four parts. And uh, this is the this is the part that was really confusing to me. You know, working in insurance, um, I can do life health disability, car, home, boat, all of it. When, but when oh, I wow. got to Medicare, it was just confusing because they had so many alphabets. But actually, when you think about Medicare, it's covered into four parts. You have A, B, C, and D. Okay. So A is for hospital. B is for medical. That's doctors, labs, x-rays, uh, anything that's not hospital and D is prescription drugs. 
And when you put the A, which is hospital, the B, which is medical, the prescription drugs, which is D, together, it creates a C, which is called Medicare Advantage. Wow, that is a great. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you explained that to our listening audience. Is there an age group where a person might be able to get covered for Medicare? And how does that work? You mean, when do you qualify? Yeah, when do you qualify? That's okay. a better question. So who's eligible for Medicare? Actually, you have to be 65 years or older. And um, I kind of like to say when you are 65, you've worked those 40 quarters. And 40 quarters means a total of about 10 years. It doesn't matter if you have two here, one here, or three somewhere else. You have a total of 10 years. You've paid that Medicare tax mm -hmm. and you qualify. Um, you can be younger than 65 and qualify for Medicare with a qualifying disability. Okay. And then at any age. With I like to know. ask this question mid-interview. Mm -hmm. I normally save it for the end of our interview, but I just feel led to ask you this question. What was the most uh, joy you got out of helping someone? Is there a situation where you went in and you provided the information to that individual and you saw the benefit of them receiving that information that you shared with them? Well, you know what, Mr. Robinson? Um, that's almost every day for me. Oh, wow. Because um, my prayer is when I wake up in the morning, Lord, send me to the right people. Right. But let me tell you, just through experience, uh, my mother worked in the nursing industry for 33 years. And when she retired, she had Medicare only and a prescription drug plan. And we'll talk a little bit about that right, later. Right. Um, when she got sick, the bills were coming in so fast. And I couldn't help her pay her Medicare because I wasn't licensed in Medicare at that particular time. The bills were coming in so fast and she said... She said, Deirdre, what can I do about these bills? I said, I don't know, Mama. Let's apply for Medicaid. Well, she did not qualify for Medicaid because she made too much money. And what gives me joy is while I was studying for Medicare, my mother was sick. My mother passed away before I was licensed to even help her. But now I help people otherwise. Amen. You know, right. that's what it's about. Right. You know, it's about education. Right. Because... We as a people, you know, they send you that little book in the mail, Medicare and you, and they want you to know all about it, but they don't tell us if you don't carry Part B right, you can have a penalty. Oh, wow. If you don't carry Part D right, if you don't carry the medical, you can carry a penalty. If you don't carry the drug plan, you can carry a penalty. And so that's my thing. I try to help educate people. You know, it's not just about a black or white Right. or whatever it's, it's people right. it's a service and i enjoy giving that service every day quickly you made you, you you gave us a word that i thought was pretty interesting that i need to kind of get more depth on and information you talked about pairing mm -hmm. what is that like pairing is well to me it's like when you're going to buy a car mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to buy a car with just the wheels on it and no mm -hmm. motor Ah, okay, you're not right, going to buy right. a car with just the air conditioner and no motor mm -hmm. to run the air conditioner mm -hmm. or, you know, it has to be a complete Sweet. car right. so that it can travel in the direction that you want. And so Medicare, you have options. Okay, you we're going to talk about options. those options. Yes, you have options and different ways to pair your Medicare so that it can take care of you and your situation when it comes to prescription drugs, providers, hospitals right you know so that's pairing and that's pairing is also is that inclusive of what a person's health is you know that's something that you definitely need to consider because if you qualify for a supplement and when i say supplement that supplement and medigap is the same thing not advantage plan and mm -hmm. and i kind of um, at this point in in any uh, uh, interview with my clients mm -hmm. i'm i've already drawn boxes right. because i want to show so you exactly the difference right. between mm -hmm. but at this point i'm showing you the boxes and so and medicare is confusing it was confusing for me i didn't want to learn about it but, but you're I helping us today to unravel that information listen this is such a great interview. We'll be right back after this commercial break with more of Gospel in the City.
Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center, 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles, would like to invite you to come out and experience the presence of God through worship. Our mission at Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center is to equip, edify, and empower the believer through the effective teaching and preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be sure to join Pastor Mike and First Lady Gigi Robinson every Sunday morning for 11 a.m. worship service at 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles. Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center. A business is only as effective as its option. E320 Enterprises is your working capital and business loan funding source. If your business needs capital for expenses, increasing inventory, acquiring new employees, adventuring, renovating, remodeling, or consolidating debt, let E320 Enterprises and its affiliates help take you and your dreams to the next level. For more information, contact WMI Enterprises at 337-802-2885. Get your business moving in the right direction today. E320 Enterprises. Valair Management Services has been established to assist, lead, invest, mentor, and partner with your kingdom assignments along with supporting selected visionaries. For more information, contact VM Services at area code 832-572-2591. We are Valair Management Services. Welcome to Ministry Moments. Have you ever been mistreated, used, or abused? Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgiveness may be the most misused, misapplied, or mis understood quality in our culture. The following statements are true or false. One, a person should not be forgiven until he asks for it. Two, forgiving includes maximizing the offense and the pain caused. Three, forgiveness includes restoring trust and reuniting a relationship. Four, you haven't really forgiven until you've forgotten the offense. Five, when you see somebody hurt, it is your duty to forgive the offender. All five statements are false. There is no attachment to it. You don't earn it. You don't deserve it. You don't bargain for it. Forgiveness is not based on a promise to never do it again. You offer it to somebody whether they ask for it or not. Real forgiveness is unconditional. That's what forgiveness really is. Follow us on Facebook, website HowardEugeneBagwell.org for more ministry moments. Welcome back to Gospel of the City, the Great Gospel Magazine on radio. And I'm with my dear friend, Dietrich Carter, talking about Medicare. Listen, uh, we talked about qualification. We talked about pairing. But how, how can someone apply for Medicare? Well, applying for Medicare, naturally, you don't have to apply. Okay. Because if you've worked those 40 quarters, uh, Social Security and Medicare will contact you. Okay, but they have to be 65 before they contact you. Well, you to qualify, you either have to be 65 or you can be under 65 with a qualifying disability. What is a qualifying disability? Massive heart attack? Well, I mean, you know, they send you through the Social Security ropes. <laughs> and uh, if you qualify, then after you're disabled for 24 months. So I guess okay. I need to pull that point. Right. After right. you're disabled for 24 months, you can qualify okay. for Medicare. And listen, while we're on the air, guys, if you want to contact Dietra, I want to make sure that you give her a call at 337-200-1363 to make sure that you get that contact information. Again, that number is 337 200 and one of the things I guess I was a little bit concerned about, and maybe you can help us with this as we continue, is we talked about penalties. Can you kind of walk us through that? Because I think I got a little frightened when it's about penalties. You know, people <laughs> are like, penalties? What's that really all about? Okay, so there are some penalties that you can carry uh, by not putting your Medicare in place correctly. One of the penalties is a Part B penalty. And so when I say Part B penalty, and if you can just imagine, when you qualify for Medicare, they'll send you a red, white, and blue card. Mm -hmm. It's your Medicare ID. Most times it's your Social Security number with the qualifying letter behind it. Um, but your Part A is for hospital, and the Part B is medical. But say, for instance, you qualify for Medicare, you're 65 years old, and you're still working. You're mm -hmm. going to work past that 65-year-old, 65-year-old age. So after working past that age, and then you say, okay, well, they send you your card, you qualify, but they'll have your card in a little perforated piece of paper. And they said, mm -hmm. if you do not want Part B, if you don't want the medical right now, send the card back. 
So you send the card back because you said, you know what, I have my health insurance on my job. So I don't need to pay two health insurances. So you're going to keep yours. And then one day you said, you know what, I'm tired of this job. I'm ready to retire. And you retire. But you forget to put your Part B penalty in place. You don't go down to the Social Security office and reapply for Medicare mm. with your Part B. And then you, you are in a line somewhere and your friend tells you, well, who's your medical insurance with? And you're like, I don't know. Well, then you apply and you qualify for Part B, which you did because you qualified mm. from before. There is a 10% penalty. Uh, that's what I'm going to ask you. What is the penalty? On your income. Oh, wow. If you're getting Social Security, they're going to pull it before you get it. Wow. So there's a 10% <laughs> penalty for not carrying your Part B premium at the point in time. And normally, if you're retiring from a job, you have 63 days. Um, if you are uh, just qualifying for Medicare, you have three months before your birth date, the month of your birth date, and three months after to put your Medicare Part B premium in place. Okay. And let's not forget about prescription drug plan. Okay. You need to have a prescription drug plan. Right. You may say, oh, well, I don't take any prescription drugs. I'm healthy as a cow. Okay. But you will after a while, even yeah, if you right. never right. put that Part D in place, because if not, they can come back and penalize you 1% of your income for how many months you've not had it. For the rest of your life. These are penalties that you do not lose unless you qualify for extra help, which mm -hmm. I can show as, you, yeah, give I'm you more information. You, if you, as a representative, are there uh, opportunities for someone to remind you how to do that? Or is that on you as a person that qualified? Do you have to kind of, I mean, as a representative, do you go, oh, Mr. Johnson, don't forget you need to X, Y, Z. Or is it all incumbent upon that individual? You know what, Mr. Robinson, I hate to even say it, but, you know, um, they send, our government sends you that Medicare and you book, and they expect you to, to, know, right. to know how to do that. Okay, okay. And it's confusing. It really well, thank is. God we have you to help us walk yeah, through it. So it that's is. a good thing, right? Yeah, they you know may contact me anytime. I can help Okay, I like the fact that they can contact you at any time. They can contact you at 337 two zero zero one three six zero for more information let's go a little further let me ask you do i have a choice in my uh, medicare yes sir you do okay yes. and what are those choices okay so the choices how are you gonna pair your medicare okay you can just stay with the way medicare is intended to be uh, original medicare and a prescription drug plan but i want you to remember medicare covers 80 percent of medical hospital wow. medical hospital they're going to cover only 80%. You're left with the 20%. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a quick scenario. I had a gentleman that I was first working with when I was in Medicare. He had a heart attack. He went into the hospital. They put four stents in his heart. He stayed mm -hmm. for four days. That hospital bill was $226,000. Wow. His 20% was 52000 Oh so you goodness. want to pair that with something. Right. I'll give you some more options if you want in just a few moments. Well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited about this particular interview because it is power packed. It is informative. My mind's all over the place about this Medicare, but I am getting the information and I want you to get the information as well. But listen, we're going to be right back with more of Gospel in the City after this commercial break. Stay tuned. Be right back. Welcome back, everybody. This your boy, Turtle, and this is my sports tip of the week. The New Orleans Saints finally break the win column after beating up on their conference opponents, the Carolina Panthers, by a score of 34-13. to Offense got back on track, but boy, that defense looked good, picking off Cam Newton three times plus a few sacks to go along with it. After struggling in the first two games of the season, the 1-2 and two Saints head to London next week to take on the Miami Dolphins in one of three NFL games scheduled to be taking place overseas this season. Then we get some much needed rest, get some players back, coming back into our bye week, week five. That's going to be a big help to the team. Well, that's my sports tip of the week, guys. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out my YouTube show. So, you think you know sports? Just search for the Uneducated Network. How much time do you actually spend at home watching television? 
How much time do you spend in your car listening to the radio? Think about it. You gonna learn today. Time's up. Our point exactly. You spend even more time on your smartphone. Most of the time, you're on a social media platform such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even YouTube. These days, people spend more time watching and listening to things on their phone. So why not use these social media platforms to get your point across and to advertise for your business? It's more cost effective and everybody's using it, even your grandparents. Focus Films has the solution. Get started today by letting the world know about your brand on social media. Log on to our website today at www.focusfilmz.com or give us a call at 337 532-3499. So when you need a voiceover, television or internet advertising, and any print media, contact Focus Films. Valair Management Services has been established to assist, lead, invest, mentor, and partner with your kingdom assignments along with supporting selected visionaries. For more information, contact VM Services at area code 832-572-2591. We are Valair Management Services. Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center, 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles, would like to invite you to come out and experience the presence of God through worship. Our mission at Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center is to equip, edify, and empower the believer through the effective teaching and preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be sure to join Pastor Mike and First Lady Gigi Robbins every Sunday morning for 11 a.m. worship service at 1638 Broad Street in Lake Charles. Breath of Life Praise and Worship Center. Center. A business is only as effective as its option. E320 Enterprises is your working capital and business loan funding source. If your business needs capital for expenses, increasing inventory, acquiring new employees, adventuring, renovating, remodeling, or consolidating debt, let E320 Enterprises and its affiliates help take you and your dreams to the next level. For more information, contact WMI Enterprises at 337-802-2885. Get your business moving in the right direction today. E320 Enterprises. Welcome back. Listen, this is some powerful information. I'm quite sure everybody's listening and everybody's being informed. Make sure you pick up the phone and call a neighbor, call a friend, tell them to tune in to Gospel in the City, KPPM 93.5, because we're on with Ms. Deidre Carter talking about options. Okay, so the second option is Medicare. Remember, you have your red, white, right. and blue card, and that Medicare covers 80%. Then you have to have a prescription drug plan. Then I'm going to draw another box at the bottom of that. This box is going to say supplement. We're going to put an S in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm really going to blow your mind because when I said supplement, this is the part of Medicare that drew me the other direction. You have an A supplement, a B, a C, F, D, J, K, L, M, N. Oh, my God. These are all different supplements. But they help you. And they're designed to pay 20%, either most of it okay. or all of it. The best supplement to have, the one that pays all of it, is the F supplement. But I tell my clients, you have to be careful. There are three Fs, three okay. different F plans. Okay. So you don't want to just go to one particular hospital, and you don't want to have to pay a $2,000 deductible. So be careful with right. those F supplements. And then the last way is where, the, where you pair the A, the B, and the D together. It's called Medicare Advantage with a prescription drug plan, or, or for most veterans, you can just get a Medicare Advantage plan I'm a veteran. because you have a drug plan already. Okay. So, you know, A, B, and D, you put that together, one cost, but when you're considering A, B, and D, you have to consider the HMO or the PPO. HMO is more local. It works within a network. Okay. Then the PPO. But... Also, you want to consider the cost. What's the cost that you're yeah, right, that you're concerned right, with? Right, I mean, right. um, do you have outrageous, or not say outrageous, but do you have extensive extensive health health healthcare cost? Mm -hmm, you want mm -hmm. to get something in place that's if you're going to the doctor and you have to pay three or four hundred dollars, wow. or just the twenty percent that Medicare doesn't pay. If you're if you're say your MRI. It's mm -hmm. $3,500. Sometimes in most cases with the Advantage plan, you're going to pay $200 or something like that. You know, so you want to make sure those costs are covered. Right. Then with the PPO, you can see providers over the whole United States. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. of the entire United States, you get an option to go in network or out of network. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. I remember so hearing about that. In network means you're going to see a specific um, a specific set of providers, but within that network, every provider that you need for health care. I don't care if it's this specialist. That specialist, you know, you hear uh, the old people say from the Rudy to the Tootie. If that doctor's not from the Rudy to the Tootie and you don't have that service in it, that'd be something. That's something that you definitely would want to consider. I think we kind of went over this a little bit. That that was a lot of information, but uh, maybe want to redress it just for quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Why is it important to to check your providers and your medications and see if they are covered in all the plans? Well, because it would be an inconvenience for me to have providers in Lafayette and I live in Lake Charles. Okay, okay. Um, you know, here's another story. My brother uh, had Medicare and Medicaid. Now, Medicaid helps people with low income. And my brother, when he first got sick, he was in Shreveport. Okay. Then Lafayette. Then Crowley. Mm. And th- where he died in Rain, Louisiana. Because there were not providers here in this area that had housed the occupational um, occupation therapists, okay. speech therapists, or physical therapists. So if you can't get that all in one area, your your plan is going to send you okay. from here to which is an inconvenience. Which is an inconvenience for family because you know. Right. Yeah, you, we so get there. Is there help with copay and deductibles and Medicare premiums and prescription drugs? We kind of talked about that a little bit, but yes, just sir. real quickly, yes, as sir. we're winding down, mm-hmm. uh, how how is that uh, how is that help appropriated? There is programs in place to help you. Now, if you're having problems with your prescriptions, uh, there is a program through Medicare called Extra Help. It will help okay. with the cost of prescriptions. If you're having problems reaching copays, there's uh, I would advise you to apply for Medicaid. Medicaid is a program to help people with income challenges. Okay. And okay. when can you do this? Now there's certain particular times that you can apply uh, and move around in your Medicare. We're coming up to pre-open enrollment. Right. Open enrollment is between um, pre-open enrollment is October 1st through October 14th. The annual election period where you can move and change your plans is going to be from October 15th to de- December 7th. But that's what okay. I want you well, to we, know. Well, that's exactly what I want to kind of uh, talk about real, real briefly is about the enrollment. And so you've given us those dates. Yes. Sir. And why, I think as we close, I've learned so much today in such a short period of time, but just quickly, why, if you could just reiterate, it is so important to sit down with a license. Well, you, you really want somebody who knows kind of the in and out with Medicare. If they don't, if they can't suggest to you, Medicare is this, is this particular, is this particular insurance where you can't drive. The, mm-hmm. It's against the law for somebody to drive you into a Medicare plan. You, they need to sit down with you and show you your options and give you choices because you want to make sure the cost is right. You want to make sure your providers are in there. You want to make sure your prescriptions are covered. That's why it's important. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this was a lot of information, but it was so worth it. We want to thank Ms. Deirdre Carter for being with us here on Gospel in the City. You can contact her again at 337-200-1363. That's 337-200-1363. Real qu- final thought. Do you provide any type of uh, workshops or would you be willing to have a workshop for our community who really can maybe just sit down and have a longer period to really walk us through this information. Yes, sir. I do Medicare educations all the time. You're welcome to call me 337-200-1363. And also um, our office here, we're going to have some training coming soon. Office at 3625 Nelson Road, Lake Charles, Louisiana. And you're welcome to give me a call or call the office 337 508 Three nine nine zero, or call me on my personal work cell three three seven two zero zero one three six three. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for Miss Deirdre Carter. Listen, thank you for tuning in to Gospel in the City, another great Wednesday broadcast, and I want you to be blessed. And we will see you next week, same time, KPPM ninety three point five. God bless. <laughs>